Hello friends, welcome to this video of Coordinate Geometry. Let us start this session with a story. In a field many plants were planted, of which there was only one plant which had white roses on it. Rahul's mother asked him to get the same plant with white flowers. She added that it is kept in the northeast direction of the garden. But when Rahul went to the garden, there were no flowers in any of the plants, which could help Rahul to identify the plant with white colored flowers. Now tell me, would Rahul have found the plant based on the information given by his mother? Friends, the information given is not sufficient. It will only tell on which side the plant is located on the garden, but the exact position of the plant will not be known. If he would have gotten the information, that the plant is in the second row, seventh position from the left, then how easy it would have been for Rahul to find the plant. Friends, we can explain this situation this way, that to know the position of a point in a plane, we need to have two pieces of information or say two directions. This simple idea is being used extensively in mathematics, which is identified by the name of coordinate geometry. The origin of coordinate geometry was done by the great French mathematician René Descartes. That is why it is also called the Cartesian system. In this session, we'll discuss about the Cartesian system in detail. As we have seen, two directions are required to understand the position of a point in a plane. In the Cartesian system, two number lines are perpendicular to each other. The horizontal line is called x-axis and it is named as xx dash. Similarly, the vertical line is called y-axis and it is known as yy dash. X-coordinate is also called abscissa and the y-coordinate is also called ordinate. The two axes intersect each other at the point zero, which is called the origin. The x-axis to the right of zero is called the positive x-axis. And the x-axis to the left of zero is called negative x-axis. Similarly, the upper part of zero is positive y-axis and the lower one is negative y-axis. These x and y-axis divide plane into four parts. These parts are called quadrants. These are named in the anti-clockwise direction as follows. The first part is called first quadrant. Second part is second quadrant. Third part is third quadrant. And fourth part is called fourth quadrant and the plane is also called the xy plane the point in these planes are represented in this manner which is called the coordinate point the first number in this coordinate point represent the point on the x axis and the second number represents the point on the y axis in the first quadrant there are positive x and y axis so the points of this quadrant are represented in this way similarly the signs of each quadrant depend upon the positive and negative x and y axis of that quadrant that is why these axes are called coordinate axes and the plane in which these axes and quadrants are is called the xy plane Let's look at an example in which quadrant is the coordinate point minus 2 and 3 located in the xy plane. Can you tell which quadrant it is by looking at the signs of these points minus and plus. This point represents the second quadrant. Friends, that's all in today's session. Today we studied the Cartesian system. See you in the next video. Thank you.